How we do? I don't know if you've seen any of the excerpts from uh, their coach, but he seems to be kind of an oddball character. <laughs> yeah, well, I heard ab- so- I heard about him, but I ain't seen him yet. So I'm, I'm probably gonna go go check him out. <laughs> yeah. So with that, I mean, what, what does it mean to take on a you know a Pac-12 team, which you guys have? You played Oregon your freshman year, but you know to play a team that you guys really wouldn't otherwise play on right. that point. Yeah, I mean, it's it's exciting. Uh, you know, whenever you get to play a team from a different conference, um, you know. I feel like football is football in general. They play it a little different um, just because of the way they pass it around. Um, but I feel like it, it'd be fun just to, just to embrace new challenges from a different conference. You know, team with the same record as us, records as us, ranked similarly, I guess. Yeah, ranked similarly. So it'd be fun. You mentioned the focus. Is it still very much when you got back on the field today? Was it still feel the exact same? We want to get to 10 wins. We want to get Coach D's 100th win here at Michigan State. And we're clear that we're kind of back away. Yeah, I didn't even know it was going to be its 100th win. <laughs> Um, honestly, uh, you know that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he ain't saying nothing to me about it. No, I mean, he's not going to say Yeah. But, uh, but knowing that, does that maybe right. add a little bit of incentive for you guys? I think it's already pretty high up there, just winning 10 games. I mean, only so many schools, so many teams from this school has done that. I think it's like a seven or something like that, maybe eight at the most, uh, have won 10 games. So that's exciting for us. That's what's motivating us. Send our seniors out on a high note. Like I say, a young team, a lot of guys are turning, so we're just trying to carry some momentum into, into the next year as well. After missing the end of 2015, being hurt, missing the, the playoff game there, missing the champ, uh, conference championship game, on a personal note, is, is it kind of exciting to be in postseason play just personally? Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting for me in general. I'm, I'm blessed to be healthy at this point. I'm going to try to maintain that you know, as long as I can, and I'm going to try to go out there and leave it all on the field, just being able to finally compete in, in the postseason, um, especially after last year. Um, I feel like it's going to be very exciting for me. Where were you when you found out about the bowl game? Did you see it on Twitter, or did someone tell you about it? How did you find out? Josiah Scott. Yeah, in the, in the uh, group message. What was your initial reaction to it? Were you surprised or excited? What was your? Uh, yeah, I, I, it was a little different, but I was excited. I mean, we going to. I felt like whatever we were, wherever we were picked to go, uh, you can't really beat. What was it like our options was like Florida or California? You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was like a SDC team or a Pac, Pac-12 team. So you know you can't really beat those odds. And I'm I'm glad that we're going to the Holiday Bowl. You know I'm happy that we're going out to San Diego. Uh, you know heard a lot of great things about the place, uh, about the area, and stuff like that. So I'm just looking forward to it. They uh, like to pass the ball. Uh, you can, are you looking forward to possibly shutting that down or trying to shut that down? Absolutely. We're gonna uh, try to scheme them up. Um, try to see what they like to do and try to take away. You know their best their best options. Um, they got a lot of guys. I feel like looking at their stats, so they spread it around a lot. Um, it's not really like a primary guy that just gets the heavy load. It's, they all get a lot of catches, so uh, and they throw it a lot. Yep. Yeah.